Hello and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review with me, Elvis. Got here a beer which is really local to me. It's the old barn by the Twisted Oak Brewery in Rington, which is sort of between Western Supermare where I live and Bristol. Um, but I'm really interested about this brewery because I've sort of followed through the local paper and on Twitter and Facebook their sort of um, from when they obviously bought the building or rented the building to uh, <clears throat> to actually releasing their first beers um, and I've only managed to try one of their beers which is the Fallen Tree which is very nice um, I've got that to review but I really fancied a nice darker beer today but this is the old barn it's a ruby ale I believe uh, four four and a half percent ABV brown 500 ml bottle um, as I said I don't know whether it's bottle conditioned or not but we'll open it up and see anyway little bit of smoke on the opening, plain silver crown. Yeah, they're a really small brewery, so um, I do wish them all the best, uh, well, providing that their beers are very good, but I believe the chap who, um, who uh, <coughs> runs the brewery, or owns the brewery, it's, uh, was, a, was an avid home brewer before uh, he opened the brewery, so it's his passion, it's his hobby, so obviously I am expecting the beers to be pretty good. Um, no, I don't believe it was bottle conditioned. There's nothing in the base of the bottom bottle there, no sediment. Well, it sure is ruby, toffee-ish in colour. More toffee than ruby, but uh, towards the top of the glass where it's obviously a bit uh, bit more liquid in there. It is um, nice and ruby, lovely, lovely looking beer. It's not the clearest beer in the world, which is great because we don't like unfiltered Pasteurized. We don't like filtered and pasteurized beers. We like unfiltered beers and natural uh, yeast in there. Bit of carbonation streaming from the base. Sort of a one finger, just off white. Nice foamy head. Let's get the nose in. Oh, oh, wow! Lovely. Uh, a lovely toffee with a sort of um, like a spiced fruit also um, almost smells like a fig it's got you can definitely get a, uh, like a caramel malt sort of Maybe something like that. Um, a room from the malt in there. There's sort of maybe a slight roasted malt in there. It's got sweetness to it, but yet you can still smell a very slight, like a Christmas, really ripe Christmas orange or tangerine or something in there. That smells absolutely fantastic. If it's if it tastes as good as it smells, then. Um, we're on to a winner here. I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh. That's a really prolonged flavour on this beer. It's still giving now. Oh, my, we're still going. That's a, that is a really good beer. Let me give you some of the taste notes. In fact, no, I'll have another sip and then I'll give you some taste notes. Okay, so straight away, getting a beautiful, sweet, malty, like a, a raw, you can taste like the raw malt, uh, which is nice, no, not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, like the raw barley, sorry, I shouldn't explain that more. Um, straight away, nice sweetness, and you've got the sort of nice fruity, spicy, sort of rounded, rounded off, and then you're left at the end with a nice coffee, not a coffee flavour, but as if you were going to get a coffee bitterness at the end, a good, like, from the a good hoppy bitterness left at the end of the, uh, the, to the taste, but it's still going. My tongue is still nice and bitter now from it, it's fantastic. It 
slightly more bitter than sweet this beer but I like that that's a good thing for me I really like that beer that is really well crafted I'll have a quick read on the on the back um, traditional a traditional ruby colored bitter crafted with four different malts good English fuggles and brambling cross hops have been generously added to provide a distinctive fruit and spice flavor fantastic <coughs> Pardon me. Old Barn is handcrafted in small batches which makes it very special and unique real ale. Twisted Oak Brewery, Yearwood Farm, uh, I didn't read you the Ring Rington, Bristol if you don't know it. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter at Twisted Oak Ales or www.twistedoakbrewery.co.uk bottled by hand. Fantastic. I really like that. I think that's a really nice beer. Um, I'm desperate to try this on cask. Unfortunately I live quite away from the pub where it's regularly on so. Um, I think that's going to get an 8 out of 10 from me, um, maybe even a 9, I really like that. Now I'm going to stick with the 8, um, sorry to the brewer if you're watching, sorry to confuse you there. Um, yeah, I'll stick with the 8, it is a very, very good beer, I'll definitely be after that again and I'm looking forward to reviewing the other two. Thanks for joining me, I uh, hope you join me again soon for another uh, review and um, oh, post your comments down in the comments box. Cheers everyone!